Welcome to the Software Carpentry screencast on databases. This screencast is on filtering results from a database. As we've seen in a previous screencast, we can use the SELECT statement to pull out columns from a table and add computed values to the results. One of the most powerful features of a database is to filter through those results to find the records that match certain criteria. Let's say we wanted to see all of the experiments before the year 1990. To do this, we'd write a SELECT query with all of the columns from the experiment table, and we'd use a WHERE command to specify the filter conditions. In this case, we put in the expression experiment date less than 1990-01-01. This specifies that we want only the experiment info with an experiment date before January 1st, 1990. You can think about how this query works as the database inspecting each row from the experiments table and checking it against the conditions in the WHERE clause. If the condition holds true, then that row is included in the results, otherwise it is filtered out. We can use other comparison operators in our filtering conditions. For example, we could ask for all of the experiments that took three or more hours. To do this, we change the WHERE clause to be hours greater than three. Now, all of the experiments that have been returned must meet this condition. We can make our WHERE conditions even more sophisticated by using logical operators like AND and OR to combine conditions. For instance, if we want to find all of the experiments run by MLOM that took more than three hours, we can modify our query. It already filters for experiments that take more than three hours, so we can add an AND and then the other condition that needs to be met. In this case, that the login ID is MLOM. When using an AND operator, each record return now must satisfy two conditions. In this case, the hours spent has to be greater than 3, and the login ID must be MLOM. If we wanted experiments either by MLOM or by BEST, we could write The parentheses ensure that the OR clause is evaluated first, so it is true whether the login ID is MLOM or BEST, and the entire WHERE condition is true if the OR clause is true and the hours spent is greater than 3. And that's what we see here. Another way to write this OR clause is to use the IN operator. With this operator, we can write a condition that is true if a field, the login ID in this case, contains anything from a list of values. So we'd say and login ID in and then provide the list of values MLOM and BEST. The same results. This is exactly the same as writing out the OR clause, but it's shorter to write and easier to read. In this screencast, we've shown that you can select data from a table and then filter those rows based on true and false conditions using a WHERE clause. 